Good evening everybody, welcome to the Under 23 channel. It's been a couple of weeks since we've updated this channel. We've got quite a bit to rattle through. Of course, Newcastle announced the two lads officially today. We knew that um, one of them was already in the books, Kyle Scott, but official today. More of them in a moment. We're going to take you back a couple of weeks back when Newcastle, the Under 23s, played their first pre-season, ironically, against Hibs as Academy. We know that six of the lads were out in China. So it was a very much of a makeshift side, but the lads still won 2-1 up Scotland's capital. And it was goals by Luke Charm, the striker. Lewis Cass with a rare goal as well. He scored again today, actually, but more on that in a moment. Newcastle won 2-1. And then just a couple of days later, left-back Mr Gibson joined Grimsby Town up until January. Great move from him. He's at the age now 22. Needs to be playing first-team football because when he comes back, He's at a point of his career now where it's make or break uh, because he's 22. He needs to be playing first team football. It's ever, you need to break it in that Newcastle side or you'll need to leave. I think that's he's in a stepping stone in his career. Um, moving off that, going to just play Newcastle's game. We were meant to play Celtic at home at the club's academy. Well, that game was called off, I believe, because of injuries. And as I touched upon, six of the lads were playing with the first team in China. So Newcastle, I believe, called that off because of those two reasons. There's no official confirmation why that game was called off from either side, which was interesting. And then, literally today, speeding up the process, the club announced the double signing, first of all, with Jake Turner. Now, the goalkeeper who was on Bolton's ranks played 11-12 games. Bolton are in financial crisis. They couldn't afford to keep them on the wood of if they could afford them. But you think Newcastle are bad? I mean, this club's got it all. Newcastle have got no on this. So Jake Turner is absolutely delighted to join Newcastle United. He said it's a Premier League side. He actually said that Sammy Amiobi was a massive factor in him joining the club because obviously Sammy's had a spell. Sorry, I just put off by that horrible shot there. But it had a spell at Bolton and of course said some good things about Newcastle. So he's 20, delighted. But a, a, lot, of, a lot of people on Twitter are questioning the signing. What does it mean for the other goalkeepers? Well, it just basically means it's Otto Hood, Patton's replacement. He was in the under-23 squad last season, reserve goalkeeper to Nathan Harker. So it gives Harker a bit of competition this season if Nathan Harker does stay with the first team. But um, he's hit that replacement. And also, we knew this, the second one, which was Kyle Scott, the centre midfielder, was on Chelsea's book last season. Um, he has signed. He had a loan spell out. Not a massive successful loan spell, I have to be honest. In Holland's second division. Now, Holland's second division for me is probably the equivalent of League One. Even the Eredivisie, if you take out the top three sides, that league is very, very weak. So he is signed. He's gone out to say that he believes that he's got more chances of breaking into the first team than he does at, say, a Chelsea or a Manchester City. But he's referenced Sean Longstaff as one of those players that he can look into and say, well, Sean Longstaff broke into the first team. Why can't I go and do that as well? So... We'll have to see how he goes. He'll go in at the under 23. I'm expecting actually Owen Bailey to be loaned out. And then possibly Kyle Scott, who actually featured today. It's just a friendly Newcastle. I've mentioned Kyle Scott there. Newcastle won 2-0 today against Rotherham down in South Yorkshire. Again, there was Cat scoring. He scored the second goal. But the first goal, Rosé Longello. So Newcastle won 2-0. A good run out. But you also seen a few of the lads who were out in China feature in that game. So you've seen the likes of Nathan Harker, Owen Bailey, Elias Sorensen, Tom Allen, Lewis Cass, Tom Watt, all featured in that game. So it's good to see them because obviously they've been with the first team. Just get a little bit more experience going back, probably what you would expect with the under-23s to get some game time. That indicates to me that none of them will be involved against Hibs tomorrow. By the time this video goes out, this might be by the time you say this on Tuesday, so it could be a night that will play Hibs. They're not going to be involved, can't say that as well. But a special mention to Victor Fernandez. He's been out injured a long, long time, and I do rate this lad massively. If you ask any of the lads in Newcastle fans to be on the main channel, I speak really highly of Victor. Really, really raw, clever, pace, direct, loads of skills. The lad will go for if he just obviously had horrible injury, which didn't help him last season because he was out for the majority of last season. He was a very frustrated figure when we uh, messaged him on Instagram. But fantastic to see him come off the bench. Just upon Kyle Scott come off the bench, played half an hour. Newcastle ran out 2 0 winners. And um, under 23s fixtures found out who they were playing today. We know that the under 23s ran close. Ben Dawson did a fantastic job last season, but now Neil Redfern has the under 23s because Ben 
is going to be the head of recruitment, head of youth development. And a big shout out to the under-17s who are across in Northern Ireland. They won 5 nil today in the Super NI Cup against County London Derry. So that is your wrap-up. Apologies, I'm on the on the move. Let us know what you think of the youth development. Ta-da.